Hi everyone, welcome to Michael Doom. Now, what is this? This is a little uh, custom wad that I made back in 2017 to launch uh, my uh, comic book that was coming out at the time called Michael. Um, I worked with another creator, a guy uh, who works on uh, making wads for Doom, different levels for Doom. And I got in touch with him, he's called Super Pom. Um, because I, I wanted to collaborate with him, uh, he could do, handle the uh, technical side of things and build a level for me um, that I could use um, to put my own custom assets in, like you can see around here, and use it to make this little interactive um, space, this little 3D space of uh, the main character's bedroom. Um, and so we worked together, I made all the assets, and. Um, Eventually, uh, whenever the book was launched, uh, in the gallery space where it was launched, you could sit down at a PC and play through or explore this space and explore this character's um, um, really messy bedroom. So I thought it might be fun because I never really put anything out about it on the internet. I thought it might be fun to take you through uh, in the style of a video game streamer. As if, you know, we're in Twitch.com and you were... Um, going to subscribe and I was going to shout things, that kind of thing, except probably a lot more sedate than that. Um, so anyway, I don't know if you can hear the background music, but the background music is a MIDI version of Cheryl Cole's All I Want to Do Is Have Some Fun, which it kind of ties into Michael in that that is um, referenced in the very first comic of the very uh, the very first thing I ever put out with Michael in it, he has a dream, I think, where he is on stage naked and he's singing that. I think so, anyway, I'm not sure. Um, it's been such a long time. Anyway, let's take a quick uh, tour of the room. Uh, it's not long, like a five minute, five minute demo. Let's go through and look at some stuff. Um, so here we go, these are the stairs um, that lead down from Michael's parents' house into the basement where Michael lives. Um, there's a picture of a cool priest on the wall, uh, some calendars with ladies on them, a nun, I'm not sure why. Uh, some little references to local sorts games from the past like Sam and Max, Day of the Tentacle, uh, a remarkably ugly stained chair, uh, some pendants, um, and lots of cool little objects in the floor, you know, like I, I love the Doom engine in that whenever you put a 2D object into it, 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 it um, you know, rotates with your perspective. I love, I love that kind of style of things. Um, since we're in a basement, there's a washing machine, a uh, Hoover, and uh, some of Michael's famous posters. I always love putting posters into my work because you can kind of um, do little different visual jokes and things. So up here we've got a poster for Brum 2072. I don't know if you remember the children's BBC show Brum, but it was about a vintage car, um, that <laughs> like a classic vintage car. Uh, this seems like the kind of thing that Michael would be into, kind of an update of a, of a classic thing from his childhood that kind of updates it and destroys it and turns it into something something a lot worse, which is like an Akira, futuristic, um, weird bike thing. Um, over here is Michael's bed, covered in crumbs. On his TV, it's eternally playing Final Fantasy VII images. Um, an anime girl lamp. Uh, a horrible tree. Outside, a skybox with a dog doing a poo. Lovely, charming. Um, over here, we've got some cardboard boxes. These are a little reference to uh, Metal Gear Solid, the box from Metal Gear Solid, and there's a pair of eyes staring back, which is quite creepy. Um, this bowl is obviously a reference to Charlie Brown for some reason. Some more posters, Murder Car 2, and I think that says Robo Babe, as well as a poster of Sonic saying, I suck. Um, here's a big anime cutout of, of Michael in kind of a Sailor Moon style dress, weird. Uh, a little note here in the wall, there's a floating toilet roll, I don't know why, I'm not sure why that's there. Uh, it says, no, try using the computer, a little hint to anybody playing this in the on the day, you know, what to do next. There's a, there's a sort of an unlockable secret to this area. Uh, if you go... Uh, onto the computer, try using the computer, okay, we're on desktop, uh, and then we're on Google, now we're on porn.com, and finally dark web, if we press that, the bed lowers, and it says, welcome to the FBI watch list, great, and now uh, going through here, going through the space, we are 
in a very doom like room and down here is um it is michael so we can trigger trigger them they are all enemies we can trigger them by shooting them and here we go these are reskinned imps and we have to kill them to proceed which is uh you know something weirdly psychological about killing your own creations but here we go all right I've got a super shotgun so it won't take too long but we can look at the different frames of animation here all a bit squiggly and funny but that's part of the charm of the doom engine and oh one left i've got to kill it with a pistol there we go once you kill them it unveils the final boss which is michael's even worse friend gilbert who we have to kill his pulse rifle as he tries to take us down with these odd green gobs there we go He's hardy. There we go, he's dead. And that's it, that's the end of it really. So it was just like a quick little um quick little run through for people in that space to kind of uh, explore a little three-dimensional space and then have this little surprise at the end of the little combat scenario. Uh, and that's it, press that, and you get this screen saying, Congratulations player, you have cleansed the Michael Zone of all evil. Or have you? The twist is that you've been duped. This software is advertainment. Here comes the advert. You could maybe buy the Michael comic from Space Facebooks if you want. Uh, and then some credits at the end. I mean, uh, I don't think you can buy it from Space Facebooks anymore, but uh, I am absolutely going to try and get some copies and pop them in my shop at some point. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching this, and um, take care. Bye-bye.